Hello students. Today we are in lecture number 20. Of chapter 1. Sorry, chapter 2. Electrostat. This is the second chapter of NCRT, my dear student. I am B.S. Pandey. A student, today in this lecture, uh, we will start with the relation between electric field and potential. Okay. It is the mathematical relation. Between field and potential. As we have done with the relation between force and potential energy in the same way we are going to establish here the mathematical relation between field and potential. My dear students, I have established a relation between work and change in potential energy. You might remember it was W is equals to minus delta U and this W is nothing but the work done. So we can write this work done as F dot dr and this delta which is the mathematical operator we can use with the proper limit this one to give you the D that is the derivative tool this can be also written as the man minus d u now student as we know that if any charge placed in uh, presence of electric field it experiences a force if we are talking about uh, the charge it is q times e dot dr and the same charge measures the potential energy u with the potential v so we can write minus d q times v this is the potential this potential will change to change the energy remember here the charge will not change since charge is constant and this q will cancel out finally we'll have this e is equals to minus dv over dr are the very simple relation between electric field and potential. This is also called potential gradient. Potential gradient. My dear student, so you have to remember this equation as E is equals to minus dv by dr. Since this E is vector quantity as you correlate the force with energy you can also write this e in vector form as minus dv over dx with i cap plus dv over dy j cap and dv over dz k Cap. Remember the students while you are talking about the very small quantity you have to take the partial differentiation and that uh, tool we have discussed in detail. But here we are getting very important formula from this E times this formula. This is the very important formula. You can represent this uh, formula as this one also it is e dot dr this one e dot dr both of the vector quantity is equals to minus dv and you know that dot product will give you the scalar quantity this uh, potential is scalar quantity and this formula will help us to find uh, to solve the number of question. Remember student, uh, I can give you the number of question to solve on the basis of this equation. I'll give you the potential which is the function of space and you will differentiate that is the partial differentiation and get the electric field. 
but uh, that would be the wastage of time because you have solved number of question on the basis of that one only okay my dear student so um moving forward to solve few important question the student if you will write this equation to just generalize you can write in this way also as we know that in mathematics we used to write if this is e dot dr e dot dr integrating it is minus dv so you are giving the limits initial limit to the final okay here also initial to final okay my dear student or you are writing this way e dot dr initial to final limit i am putting minus and thus dv can be written in the v and v final minus v initial minus v initial and this minus can be compensate at the v initial minus v final finally you should remember this formula that is the very helpful v initial minus v final suppose if initial point is a and the final point is b then you can write e dot dr initial was a so from a to b but the important relation would be that you have to remember v initial v final is equals to e dot dr okay or from initial to final or the v a minus v b is equals to e dot dr from a to b thus dr is position vector remember my dear student this is the position vector you have solved already to find this position vector okay in very short i am recalling you if this is the coordinate and this is the point p x y okay and this is the o if you are writing the position vector o p my dear students you have to write directly is x minus here the coordinate is 0 0 x minus 0 that is the x i cap plus y minus 0 that is the y j cap okay student again i am recalling you another if this coordinate is 2 3 this coordinate is this is o and this is p this coordinate is 5 and 2 then you have to write the op position vector op and that will be kind of the dr this will give you the dr and this op you have to subtract from p to o that is the 5 minus x1 5 minus 2 it is the 3i plus 2 minus 3 it is the minus j cap okay student so this was i was recalling you this is the position vector okay and this way you will get the number of question to solve or the very simple example i'm taking the very simple example suppose this is electric field and in this electric field you are getting two point a and b this is the uniform electric field suppose it is ei okay from here to here this is the point a and b my dear student and the coordinate you are given three zero and of course this will be the since on x axis we are changing suppose it is six and y not going to be changed it is zero and you have to find v a b the question find first one v a b you have to find and the second question at which point at which point potential is maximum potential is maximum okay my dear students remember while i will teaching you i will teaching you electric field lines i told that time electric field lines always move from higher potential to lower potential if this field line is moving in this direction it means this point to this point it means a should be at high potential and b should be at low potential okay from here from this theory will get the answer so that and we will verify yes point a is at high electric potential now so look at it carefully my dear student what is the formula actually 
the formula should be recall again and again so that it remember e d r from a to b it is v a b okay this is the formula now we are going to apply over here v a b e dot d r what is e e i dot d r so d r is the position vector dr is the position vector and that position vector will give you the 6 minus 3 it is 3 i cap plus j 0 minus 0 so the 0 i am not having any component on j so e i dot i1 and it is 3 e now this v a b can be written as v a minus v b okay and it is 3 e now my dear student you can see this V A is 3 E plus V B. So which one is greater? Actually, uh, in first question, it was asked to find V A B. So this is the answer. And in second question, we have to find at which point potential is maximum. We are getting potential at A is 3 E more than V B. It means V A is greater. Okay. V A is greater than V, B and it is proved that electric field has moved from higher potential to lower potential. Why this B is at lower potential? It proves that. Okay, my dear student. Another question I'm giving you. If you can solve, try to solve this question by yourself. And I'm giving you this question. It has been asked in board examination. Okay. In CBSC, it was asked. Uh, this is the field okay again it is e mm, i suppose this one three points a b c all right i'm giving you the coordinate suppose it is mm, okay origin zero zero and the point b a suppose it is uh, 0 x 0 okay 0 3 and point C suppose since y uh, x is changing and y is also changing suppose it is uh, mm, okay 7 3 you have to find the question first V A B second V A C mm, Third, V, V, C, which point is at high potential? Okay, so this is the question you have to find. If you can solve, try to solve by yourself. Pause the video and try to solve this question. Okay, my dear students. Now, look at here over the solution. As we know that E dot dr is VAB, okay? That is the AB, it means the initial and final. Okay, let me write over the 1, 2. So, the first, we are going to find out between A and B. So, we can write here the AB. VAB. So, the VA minus VB, it is for this two point electric field is not electric field is uniform for each point so it is e i only dot dr okay so the dr final point is this one so the 0 minus 0 i is gone now 3 minus 0 it will be 3 but j cap okay and i dot j is 0 here the va minus vb that is the vab how much 0 potential this is called the potential difference In standard 10th, you have studied already the difference between uh, difference of potential between two points is called the potential difference. So it is the potential difference is zero. And potential difference is zero, it means that point A and B at the same potential. V A equals to V B. And this line actually is called equipotential. 
equi potential my dear student we study in detail about this equi potential surface suppose if you are uh, if you having uh, if you are having the number of points uh, the electric field is moving from this direction to this direction okay electric field is moving from this direction to this direction and you have in, uh, this is the plane okay in this plane the number of point you will study uh, each point will be at the same potential why because electric field is moving in this direction and all the points are at the same plane in the same plane of this perpendicular electric field line it means all the points will be at the same potential and then this plane will be considered as the equipotential plane or the surface will be considered as the equipotential surface and the same surface we will study later on okay might be in the next lecture or in this lecture only so this is the, now the next question my dear student this was the first question now the second question vac i hope you can solve it will be better if you uh, solve by yourself okay so i'm leaving this one you can solve by yourself now uh, the next concept my dear students if i draw a line perpendicular to the uniform electric field okay this is the uniform electric field if i draw a line perpendicular it is perpendicular at both the point it means at each point on this line potential will be same am i correct yes potential will be same at each point but if i tilt this is the uniform electric field if i tilt this line whether the potential at each point on this line will be same so answer is no potential will change potential will change it means this is the equipotential line or the equipotential surface but this is not the equipotential line or equipotential surface and it proves that the equipotential surface if it is the equipotential surface then equipotential surface always perpendicular okay always perpendicular to the field lines if you want to find out the equipotential line or surface you have to draw the perpendicular line okay this concept we will use later on okay we are starting actually the equipotential surface write down the topic equipotential surface equipotential surface remember student again i'm telling you as i told you number times that uh, i'm not solving here too much questions for your practice because we don't have sufficient time my lecture would be of 30 minutes uh, hardly so you must do practice over my given assignments as i have been given in group those students require my assignment they can contact me you can comment uh, in last of the video okay otherwise you can ask your friend to get the assignment that assignment only will give you the concept how much idea you have collected from this lecture class okay my dear student now the equipotential surface the student kindly write down the definition of equipotential surface remember one thing the equipotential surface is nothing but the common surface okay common surface or plane it is the common surface or plane having same potential okay having same same potential it is the common surface or plane having same potential we are talking about the electric potential a very simple example if i'll give you uh, uh, earth is uh, equipotential surface for us okay for us this uh, all right earth is equipotential surface for us suppose if i'm telling you to draw equipotential surface this is the charge a charge you have to draw the equipotential surface which type of equipotential surface you will draw actually 
So first you have to draw, remember to draw the equipotential surface, first you have to draw field lines. Remember, this is the very, very important. First you have to draw electric field lines. Kindly write in your notebook, in note, draw electric field lines. This is the first point, which is very important. And this is the isolated charge, one charge, okay, mono charge. It means to draw the electric field lines, what we have to draw actually perpendicular everywhere. If you find the potential at this point from the charge, if it is at one meter, give a locus, a point at one meter, another at one meter another one at the same distance because we know that formula for potential v it is kq by r so at r distance you will get the equal potential now make the dotted line So what is the concept to draw the equipotential surface and this is the equipotential surface it is the equipotential surface okay my dear students it means if it is the point a this is the point b this is the point c it means v a it is equals to v b it is equals to v c and this is called the equipotential surface what you have to be bearing your mind that is first you have to draw the perpendicular dotted line and that line will give you the equipotential surface actually uh, I am considering here the three dimensional picture if you are considering the three dimensional picture then it looks like about a point charge around the point charge it looks like a sphere and this is the equipotential surface okay my dear student this is the story of one charge if it is the positive if it will be the negative the same potential uh, surface you will get now next one remember if v a and v b both are equal it means v a b will be how much zero so the potential difference between any two points on the equipotential surface must be zero this will be the important point all the point i'm telling you student you have to make as your note okay and as your notes you have to write in your note copy the next point my dear students uh, if I ask you uh, some important shape of equipotential surface okay I'm making the heading write down shape of equipotential surface I'm giving you some conditions as I given you this condition this is the uniform field this one now you have to draw equipotential surface my dear student what will be the nature of equipotential surface over here of course earlier we study the equipotential surface must be perpendicular so this is the nature okay this is the equipotential surface my dear student remember this is the two-dimensional picture this is the plane actually this one or this one so over this plane at each point you will get the potential same if you wish to find out potential at this point at this point at this point at this point okay suppose it is a b c and d so the v a equals to v b and vc equals to vd but remember va not equals to vc why as you are moving forward this is the electric field as you are moving forward in the direction of electric field the potential decreases since electric field lines move from high potential to low potential and it is quite clear va is greater than vc va is greater than vc so number of questions is being prepared over here so this is the shape of electric uh, equipotential surface if the electric field is parallel 
okay the next step i'm asking you kindly move back and draw the shape of equipotential surface now the next one if this is uh, dipole okay dipole this is minus charge this is plus charge you have to draw the equipotential surface first what i told you told you to draw the electric field lines so this is the electric field lines i'm drawing you can draw much better than myself i'm not good in drawing so this is the positive charge and positive charge leave the electric field lines it will originate and collected by negative charge i hope my dear students you remember of course you should remember this is not the very tough now we have to draw the equipotential surface okay so i'm going to draw here the equipotential surface equipotential surface I, we know that the equipotential surface should be perpendicular this one okay now the next equipotential surface this is the equipotential surface remember it is not necessary that the uh, potential at uh, both the point will be same but the potential at each point over this will be same actually now the next one as you will draw it will be done but you can see here the line is curved so it will be a little bit flat you can see other change in shape here it will be round but it will be like flat as you will move much closer you will get another flat shape and another much flat shape but the important thing and you can draw here a very 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 flat but this is all other equipotential surface and remember two equipotential surface never intersect each other never intersect now you can go back and try to remember as i draw the uniform field lines if it is the perpendicular to the electric field lines so it is not possible because one and the another field lines which are parallel never intersect to intersect one should be slant and if it will be slant then the potential at each point will be not same so two equipotential surface never intersect each other but what happens uh, if we draw the equipotential surface in case of the two charges of the same nature very good okay so the two charges of the same nature look at it if it is plus and this is also plus okay my dear student first you have to draw the field lines this is the field lines now it should be never intersect my dear student you can make much better diagram as i told you and you should make much better than me okay now uh, try to draw the equipotential surface look at here i am moving equipotential surface this side it is moving round no doubt round very good okay round this is the one equipotential surface but over here again round but we move, as we move closer remember this line is not going to this one so as the potential surface will move here it will go down but over here it will go up so whenever the two electric uh, equipotential surface comes near it never intersect but it merges in each other okay 
it merges in each other and it will looks like this one two equipotential surface when comes near it merge each other the two if i'll make like this one like this one so it should not be there so it merges to each other but never intersect okay it merges to each other so that you can get the electric field lines everywhere perpendicular over here also it is perpendicular here also it is perpendicular it is perpendicular and it is perpendicular so equipotential surface always perpendicular to the electric field lines student so those are the important points remember uh, electric field perpendicular to equipotential surface never intersect each other these are the important point of the equipotential surface and many more you can get in ncrt so this is all about the 2d lecture my dear students thank you very much